Yep. So let's start with like a kind of like a history of like how you connect your your radios to your end user device because everything ends up centering with ATAC around the end user device. So um, whether it be a S23 Tactical Edition, Xcover 6 Pro Tactical Edition, or a commercial device, typically you're going to connect your radio into that via um, a hardline cable, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. Um, and that's on the like, lower end side. On the upper end side, it's going to be, you know, there are Wi-Fi access um, points that you can put on those radios. But typically, that's a cabled solution that's going into a, you know, a hub and cable system where you have multiple radios in the mix or extended power management. Um, now, with the the components in the low-cost Man-A kit, cables are expensive. Um, you're looking at $600 plus for a cable now uh, that's, you know, got military connectors on it that meet, you know, mil-spec, A10G, or whatever. Um, so you're paying a, a huge price for a cable. Whereas with the low-cost Man-A kit, we tried to make it as less complicated as possible with the least amount of hardware as possible to get the capability. So with the Doodle Labs Mesh Rider uh, wearable radio, we get a Wi-Fi connection to the end user device. With the headset that we paired with it, you get a Bluetooth connection to the to the headset. So now you don't have cables that you have to route all over your kit, and you're also dropping the cost as well. 